Is your Windows booting slow? If then watch this video till end and use these fixes to solve slow booting in your Windows. So in this video I am going to show you 7 ways to fix slow boot in your Windows. Now the first fix is to disable the fast startup. One of the most problematic setting that will cause slow boot times in Windows is the fast startup option. This is enabled by default and is supposed to reduce startup time by preloading some boot information before your PC shuts off. While the name sound promising, it causes issues for a lot of people. Thus, it's the first setting you should toggle when you have a slow boot problem. For that, just right click on the start, from there go to the terminal admin or you can use the command prompt as an administrator. Either way is fine, just click on it, open it. Now from here, you will have to execute this command. The one that you see on the screen right now. I'll share the same command in the description of this video. You can copy it from there. Now once you type in the command, just click on enter. Now you can see that the value is 1. If you are getting the value as 1, it means that fast startup option is enabled in your system. And if it is returning 0, it means that it is been disabled. Also to confirm it, you just go to the control panel. Just search for control panel. You will get it here. Now from here, just open power options. And then click on choose what the power button do. Here you can see that there is an option in the shutdown setting that is turn on fast startup. You can also notice that toggle button is turned off here. It has been disabled here and you will not be able to disable this function from here. For that you will have to go to the command prompt again and have to do it from there. For that just go to the command prompt. You will get it here. Just run it as an administrator. Now from here just type in the command power cfg space hibernate off now just close this window and take it once again load it once again go to the control panel power options and click on choose what the power buttons do and now you can see that it's gone the shutdown settings the option is not available that means from now onwards the fast startup option is disabled in your computer which will in turn boost your windows loading so if you want to turn it back just go back to the administrator and then use the command power cfg space hibernate on now again close this window go back open control panel power options now it's back now as i said earlier this fast startup is supposed to reduce the startup time by preloading some boot information but it creates some reverse action while booting your pc so you can turn that off and this is the first solution to do now moving to the next solution is adjust your paging file settings Virtual memory is the name of a function that makes Windows dedicate part of your storage drive as they pretend as RAM. This section is called the paging file. With more RAM, you can have more tasks running in your system at once. So if the Windows is close to maxing out actual RAM, it dips into virtual memory. So there is a solution to that. You can change the virtual memory settings on its own in your Windows. You should thus have a look at your virtual memory settings and see if you can change them to fix the slow boot problem. Now to do that you have to go to the start and from here just type in performance. You will get the performance option here. Now go to advanced and from here you can see that the virtual memory size, the paging file size is defined here. Now if you want to change it. Now on the resetting window, the bottom values are what important is. You will see a recommended amount of memory and a currently allocated value. Some users having this issue find that the current allocation is 
way over the recommended number. If viewers look off in the same way, uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives to make changes. Just uncheck this one and then choose a custom size and set the initial size and the maximum size to the recommended value that appears for your system. Now once that is set, you have to click on OK and click on apply and once reboot, your boot time should improve. Now the next solution is to turn off the Linux subsystem. Windows offers a full Linux terminal in addition to other shell environments like the classic command prompt. This is actually exciting for developers but it also be the culprit of your boot issues. Now to turn off the Linux shell then just go to the windows features and from here you can look for WSL if it is turned or not. You can see here that the windows subsystem for Linux is turned on. Just uncheck it and click on OK. So uncheck it and restart your system and try again. Now the next solution is to update the graphic drivers. So for that you have to go to the device manager. Just right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now just go to display adapter. Now you have an option the UHD graphic. Just right click on it and click on update driver. Just ask to search for it and it will automatically install the best driver for your system. So it is already updated one then you have to close down this window that's it now the next solution is to disable some startup programs if you have a dozens of app loading as soon as you log in then this can really bog your system down so to check that just go to the task manager the task and click on task manager and from here just go to startup apps and make sure that all the unnecessary apps are turned off or disabled to disable it, just right click on the app and just click on disable. That's it. Now the next solution is to run an SFC scan, that is system file checker scan. For that, you have to go to the terminal. Just go to the start from here. Type in command prompt. Now from here, just type in SFC space scan now then enter the sfc command will check your windows installation for corrupted system files and try to replace them with working copies it will take a little time to complete the process just wait till then Now once that is complete, Windows will return a value that if it's find any integrity violations or not. Now if it's not, then you can close down this window. Now the next solution is to upgrade your storage drive. If you are still persisting this issue, then you must be facing issues with relate to your hard disk drive. If your Windows is still running on HDD, you will experience low performance across the board. Hard disk drives are great for storing data, but when it comes to the running off OS, it is slow. So it's always advised to upgrade your storage device to SSD. So hope these tips and tricks will be useful for you to fix a slow startup on your PC. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.